Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm almost through cleaning it up. I'm taking away a little bit more of the outside parts. And the best way I know how to do this, let's see if we can get rid of this line. Yep. And then there's like a, I really shouldn't have probably put so much detail on it. So the one I'm doing it for, when you do it, maybe don't put so much, uh, run the detail so high. But, and I'm also going to send you these two files. And if you feel comfortable with them, you're more than welcome to use it. There's two parts on here that just, when we get rid of this, look what happens. You get rid of a lot of the antlers. So two ways we could fix that. We can, I thought I saw something else on the screen. We can use a shape tool and we're gonna take these three nodes and hit delete. But then we're gonna take these two nodes and right click and turn them into a line. And what that did, that's, that took that line away. Now let's look at this in wireframe. So we're gonna go to view and wireframe. There's those lines that we talked about earlier. We can take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Don't really have to delete them through the antler, but we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of them for safety reasons. I think there's one more going through his head. And you can either delete them or you can try to, uh, a lot of times with the shape tool, you can segregate it out but that worked one more and see so you see all the broken um splotches of color those aren't really going to matter that doesn't look too well there's a few more lines over here i don't really think the lines are going to matter but it's so easy to delete them that let's just do them and you don't have to even do what i'm doing here um uh, and you could actually do, you know, if you accidentally hit like some of that, well, that's gonna matter because it's taking away our outside shape. If by chance it just takes away the inside shape, that doesn't matter because we're gonna fix that here in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up just a little bit more. So what's happening when the virtual segment delete key hits it, uh, the, the next line is stopping it from cutting all the way through, like that line right there don't need it and I think that looks pretty good so now what we're going to do we've gotten rid of all those lines we're going to go back to the enhanced mode and we're going to select all this and see see some more garbage up here so I'm going to delete that so when we select it all uh, garbage will show up because you're selecting it just a little bit more that's so fine that you can't really even see it. And a lot of times, like there's one more right there. Just try not to get any of the deer antler. Sometimes they could be just double note. A lot of times if you move stuff around, you can actually see it better. So I think we're good. We're gonna convert it all to black. Now we're getting different shades of black, if you can see that or actually the lines. And I I kind of think this would be neat. You could fill this in and, you know, look at the original picture and um, sure enough, it's filled in more. You know, I've taken away some of the eye socket and we could fix that. But for right now, we're not going to fix it like that's uh, probably not going to work there. So we'll just delete all that. Just make sure it doesn't go too far. And see, that's connected to the other part, so we're just going to do that. Then what you want to do is take all this and go up to combine. That's going to make it all solid black because it can bind, and that's what it's going to look like. Now, if you want the head, you know, all this to be filled in, let's do this. Let's look at it again and... Uh, this mode basically a wire here mode but and just go through here and put a line now he draws in one point I'm going to make it a hairline and 
then you could actually take your smart fill tool, fill that in and just see if we have any leaks. And we're gonna have a leak because it's, I shouldn't have done, well, no, we don't have a leak. So now what I'm gonna do again is select it all again and turn it black. And you can see how we've kind of filled in that head. Now, I think I'm gonna make one more video on this because the antlers are perfect. You know, we've got some rub, roughness, but it really needs some roughness. You could take and, you know, smooth it out a little bit, um, just ever so slightly. You know, but it's, it's hard because there's so many uh, little facets. And the antlers, especially on the base, are going to be uh, kind of messed up. So we're going to try to make it look more symmetrical on the other side with part three. I thought I had one more little, let's go to object and, uh, well, break curve apart. Because I think we still have one more. Boy, that looks good. That looks real good. So stay tuned for part. And then what you, another thing you could do is put a yellow background and uh, it might make some of those little black spots. So I'm gonna go to order, back a page, and you, the yellow might help you be able to see any more black. So stay tuned for part three and we'll see what's, if we can make it even better. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.